Hey, this is Ray. Hope you're having a great day. Coming to you over here at Namrack Farms. It's early in the morning. Look who I got with me here. Say hi, Precious. She's hanging out with me again. Never far away when I come over here. And I hope you never get far from your shepherd. I hope you enjoy him. Today I want to talk to you about something just a little bit different. I want you to bear with me just a minute because something happened last week that I think you ought to know about. I was over here getting ready to uh, take care of the sheep. I was on the phone talking to my wife. And I was getting ready to shoot another video for you. And I saw something. I was like, hey, babe, I got to run. I got to go. I got something I got to check on. And I looked up at one of my big sheep. She had this little saggy chin hanging down underneath her there. And that's a sign. A sign something's wrong. So I pulled her in and I checked and my concerns were, were true. She had worms. So I gave her medicine. I said, okay, we'll move on from that. It'll be okay. Then, the next day, I saw another one of my sheep. I said, like, uh-oh, something's wrong. Worms again. So I gave her medicine. The next day, it was a lamb. One of the little lambs was showing signs of having worms. So I gave it medicine. And then I realized it was time. I had to gather in the whole flock. Time to pull them in and see who was sick and who was not. Tend to those who are sick and be thankful for those who are not. And the good shepherd, he looks out over his flock and he keeps a watchful eye. It's not just to make sure that the enemies on the outside, the coyotes, the wolves, the lions, the bears, are all kept at bay. Because he knows there's even a greater enemy. It's the enemy that's on the inside. And so we're told in John that the thief doesn't enter through the gate only the shepherd does and the thief comes in to steal kill and destroy we're told about a wolf who comes in and mixes with the flock only to destroy it we're told about a raging and roaring lion but we're also told about the worms and the worms can be the most devastating to any and all flock because they come in through the seeds of doubt discouragement gossip negativity and those little seeds of bitterness plant deep in a soul and they hide them because sheep, I promise you, the last thing a sheep wants you to know is that it's sick. One of the first lessons I learned from the other shepherd was, hey Ray, sheep will never let you know they're sick till they're almost dead. And that's the truth. I've learned that lesson for four years in a row. I've watched sheep one day just look like they're healthy as a horse and the next day they're laying in the field dead as a doornail. And so the enemy knows, hey, I could come in raging like a lion and I may get one. I could come in howling like a wolf, I may get two. But if I sneak in the back door and I sit inside the flock and I bury in these seeds of discord, and disunity, I could take out the whole flock. So the under shepherds that the father sends are given the chore to keep a watchful eye, not just for the major things, the pride, the anger, the frustration, the alcoholism, the adultery. Oh yeah, those are major things. But it all starts with doubt, discord, discouragement, negativity, gossip, hidden sins, hidden worms that work from the inside and they kill and they steal and they destroy the joy and the unity that God intended for his people to have. So remember, if God has given you any lambs to watch, whether you're standing in a pulpit or sitting at your house with your children, don't be so busy that you miss out on the signs of the worms as they come in. I recently had a shepherd tell me, "Ah, oh man, I gotta get my sermon ready. Hey, Ray, I got to get I gotta get the worship service ready. Ray, I got to get my Sunday school lesson ready. Hey, Ray, we, we have to get our Bible study lessons ready. I don't have time to deal with that. I don't have time to sit and talk. I don't have time to look for the worms. I'm too busy watching out for the lions. Let the Good Shepherd speak to you today and go enjoy the shepherd and sit at his feet. I'll see you soon.